Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to the garden. We are out here making yet another cut flower arrangement and boy oh boy it is hot out here. I'm really struggling it seems to make flower arrangements now that the hot weather has arrived but we're just gonna keep on going and do our best. The first thing I wanted to start off with are these Benary's Giant Lilac Zinnias. Now I've been letting these bloom for quite a while now so you can see that some of the petals are even kind of faded to where uh, faded light to dark. That's just simply because these have been blooming in the garden for a long time. Uh, a lot of people pick their flowers way before this occurs, but you know, I was just kind of enjoying the show with the butterflies and everything, so I took my time. They're still beautiful and very unique looking nonetheless. So I am going to start out by picking a ton of these zinnias. Some of the flower heads are absolutely enormous right now. A couple of these are even bigger than the palm of my hand. They're just amazing. Really pleased with how vigorous these have grown this year. Um, in addition to the Ben Aries Giant Lilac Zinnias, I'm just kind of looking around my garden and I've decided to grab some Lysianthus. These are the Voyage to Pink Lysianthus. In general, the shape of the Lysianthus and the shape of the Zinnias, they seem to kind of clash a little bit. I'm not quite sure they work well together. Last jar, I just kind of started out with a base of the zinnia flowers, and then I went through and added some of those really nice lisianthus. Ideally, I would have used the green foliage first, but like I said, really lacking foliage. And for greenery in this one, I ended up using just some basil and some mint. The basil and the mint in the yard have really come through and been the main filler and foliage that I have used this season. And I know that mint can be invasive, but I find myself relying on it time and time again, so I'm actually glad that I have it. Once I kind of got my kind of foundation flowers into place, I did go back into the yard and grab a couple more things. I grabbed some more of that Red Sea Azuratum. I don't quite remember what variety I planted, but anyway, I just kind of worked that Azuratum in there. I think it plays really nicely with the kind of purple pink hues that I'm trying to bring together in this one. After I've added all that, it still felt kind of empty, like it needed something. So I once again headed back into the yard and grabbed some of the Golden Giant Amaranth. Again, I had to strip off all the leaves because of so much insect damage on the amaranth. But I think it was just a nice color to kind of tie these all together. Overall, I think this one ended up looking fine. I mean, it's not spectacular or anything. Um, it's really pretty, but I'm not quite sure I would go for this specific color combination again. Um, it is what it is. You know, the more you arrange flowers, the more you learn what style you like and what colors you like. And, you know, kind of your own specific... Uh, aesthetic I guess I don't know either way this one is going to be donated and it is going to make someone's day a little bit brighter at least I hope it does um, if you guys like this video be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel share with a friend all that good stuff hit the bell icons whatever it is YouTube has everybody do these days I'm not even sure anymore we're just really focused on trying to grow the channel and trying to make this channel something really beautiful. I appreciate you watching this so much. I mean, there's tons of other stuff you could be watching, so I really do. I just really appreciate you a lot. It means a lot to me. I hope that you're having an amazing day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.